We have returned to the Snow Stadium after a run of five away games on the bounce, and it is very good to be back here in more familiar climbs. Fulton Rovers, the visitors today. Harry Medway wins the defensive header, but it's going to fall to Leighton Thomas. Tommaso tries to put the challenge in. The referee plays the advantage. Thomas into the box, headed out by Reed. Back to Thomas. Tried to square up with uh, Tommaso. Well, it looked like he had a huge amount of shirt there. The referee waves play on, and Olamiwa puts it behind for a corner. Yeah, we've got the ball away, and it's a corner to Portland Rovers. Going to be another in swinging left footed corner here from the right towards the goal and it's in a good strong header one from the set piece and that will put the visitors 1-0 up here so for the first time since that loss at Plymouth Parkway the Stags find themselves behind that's a good ball down the left wing brilliant touch from Griffin takes it in stride looking for Kasimu Kasimu it might find Taylor still in the box Kasimu shoots blocked behind vociferous appeals for a handball the referee no doubt points to the spot and we might be level straight away it's going to be Hisham Kasimu to step up from the spot with uh, Jack Hoey not on the pitch, on the subs bench for this game. Can he add to his goal scoring tally? Kasimu left footed, sends Sainsbury the wrong way, bounces off the advertising hordes, ricochets through the back of the net, and that will put us level at one goal apiece. Now, Ungalo tries to spring the counter. Here's Kasimu. Kasimu loses out there from the centre back's challenge. Daniel Dempsey winning the ball. Ibrahim on the left-hand side into the box. Medway diverts it into his own net. For all of the desire going forward, they haven't had the end product, the Stags. And full credit to Porton Rovers, because out of nothing, they've gone back in front. Olamiwa now is going to take a few strides out of defence. Tries to find Kasimu. Olamiwa, I think, is going to win this back. He is. He's got Bourne. Bourne being pressured by Ibrahim. He goes back to Tommaso. Looking for Taylor down this right-hand side. Brilliant flick in by Taylor. Has found Kasimu and Hoey just loses out. Someone gets there first, but Freddie Reed lively again. It might be <laughs> Hoey. Hoey is absolutely taken out on the edge of the area. Sliding in was Daniel Dempsey. And Hoey's first real intervention is to win a free kick in a very threatening position. Jack Hoey offering a threat with the right foot. Very central. It is going to be Hoey. Shoots low. Try to catch the keeper off guard. Couldn't quite hit the target. Here's Taylor trying to split the lines. He has found Kasimu. Got his head up looking for options in the box. Lays it off to Bourne. Bourne shot left footed. Blocked. Still comes to Callum Bourne. Who scores his first Totten goal on the edge of the area. His left foot shot was blocked. But with the right. Aimed for the bottom corner. Found its way through the defender's legs. And it is now AFC Totten 2, Fulton Rovers 2. Oh, Callum Bourne. Weak shot with his left foot. The ball's dropped back and it's a great shot. Bulleted into the bottom corner and it's no less than we deserve. Here's the captain, Felix. Finds Thomas. Trying to put one down the sideline for Butcher. This is a dangerous opportunity. Butcher's cut back. Is it in the back of the net? Yes, it is. Halton Rovers have once more manufactured a goal out of not much at all. And the substitute, Will Harvey, has put them 3-2 up. So every time the ball goes close to the Porton defence, they are just bombing it deep. And now they've got an opportunity with Will Harvey on the right-hand side. A goal here would put this tie to bed. He's going back. Oh, that's Ibrahim He's trying to slip one through. One on one, the goalkeeper can't stop it. Slips through Skriniar's touches, and Nathan Brown has sealed this victory for Porton Rovers. <laughs>